Hi, my name is Nina and I'm an Esri instructor. Today I'm going to show you three easy ways to personalize ArcGIS Pro. The first way we're going to personalize ArcGIS Pro is by customizing the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar, located above the ribbon, provides easy access to common commands. The first way we can customize the Quick Access Toolbar is by using the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button, located on the toolbar. From here, we can quickly add and remove different commands. The second way we can customize the Quick Access Toolbar is by right-clicking a command located within the ribbon. From there, we can choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. The third way we can customize the Quick Access Toolbar is by going into our blue Project button, opening up our Options, and then going to Quick Access Toolbar at the very bottom of our Options list. From here, we can add, remove, and reorder the commands within our Quick Access Toolbar. The second way we can customize ArcGIS Pro is by customizing the ribbon. We can add new tabs, and we can add new groups and new commands within those tabs. The first way we can customize the ribbon is by right-clicking within the ribbon and choosing Customize the Ribbon. From here, it will take us to our options for customizing the ribbon. Another way to access this is through the blue project button, going into our options, and then finding customize the ribbon on our list of options. From here, we can start to choose from different popular commands and add them to different tabs within our ribbon. For example, I'm going to modify my map tab. By expanding my map tab, it will show us all of the different groups within the map tab. In order to add new commands to these, to this map tab, I'm going to select the map tab and select new group. From here, I'm going to rename this to zoom because I want to add some new zoom tools to a new group within that tab. Once I have my new tab, I'm going to go to my list of commands and instead of choosing from my popular commands I'm gonna go to all commands and I'm gonna search for rectangle zoom in. From here I'm going to add the commands that I want to be in this group and once I have the one selected that I'd like in that custom group I'm going to select OK. Now I'll find my new group in my map tab with the new commands within them. The third way we can customize ArcGIS Pro is by changing the application theme. ArcGIS Pro has two themes, light, which is the gray background that is the default, and we also have a dark theme, which has a black background. The way to change the application theme is by going into the blue project button, opening up our options again, and then going into our general settings. From here, you'll find application theme. And from there, you can choose from light, the default theme, or dark. If you make changes to the application theme, ArcGIS Pro must be reset in order for the theme changes to take place. These are just three of my favorite tips for personalizing your ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching. Thank you.